last delegation is uh, Mike. Is it Michael? Michael Lucid, who's delegating on the process of renaming schools. personal, 
or financial information? Did you run that by the lawyer? Did you ask him if this guideline here under 272B trumps conflict of interest? Did the legal opinion cover renaming a school after someone that you had business dealings with and who are your close friends? Conflicts of interest trump everything when we're taking a decision. And I'm wondering as well, will the Peel Board of Education get a legal opinion that says that conflicts of interest are fine when renaming schools? Is it okay for insiders? And I ask to you, everyone here, if there was something before you where, let's say, you were going to rename a school after your husband, would you recuse yourself? And are we saying that conflicts of interest are okay? Because we don't answer to anyone. We are the elite. And when we want to give a trophy to someone, we do it. What I'm wondering is, who called Janet's family? Who called Madam Chair's family? You, they're your friends. It's my understanding that it was Burl. Okay? That's a problem. And I apologize if I'm... Sir, yes. sir, I'm not going to allow you to discuss personal information. It's in, on the internet. In this book. <laughs> yeah, and then it, it, it must be true. Brian Woodland said, thank you, Burl. I have it right here. They said, thank you, Burl. You wouldn't believe the surprise on Janet's face. Did you want to see the, the, like how my face was or the community's face when they said, oh my gosh. Well, I'm not going to debate this with you, but really, if you understood this issue, you'd know that Trustee Ford introduced the renaming of the school for me. Whether or not she called my family or not, you don't know that, nor should you, and I'm not going to allow you to discuss personalities in public in this boardroom. So if you can move on. I'll move on. That's fine. I mean, the point has been made on both ways right here because these people here are your friends, some of them better than others, and you have regular business dealings with them. What do you do when you declare a conflict of interest? What is the definition of a conflict of interest? It's, is there a benefit for the receiver? The other thing is, is that do I have business dealings with this person? Are they a friend? Okay, for, as I said, for an elected official to have a school named in their honor is a huge advantage. Thousands of calls each month are answered. Janet McDougall now. Name recognition. New people move into the area. It's in the chairperson's riding and a huge benefit for re-election campaigns. I'm wondering if you think that the public doesn't care and that you can just get away with this. How is this best for the community? There were about four names that surfaced when this new school came up. Rather, there was three, you being the, the uh, one that came in at the end there, uh, secretly. There was Linwood. Well, is it not reasonable to ask if Linwood was considered? And what makes you more special than Linwood? You're a part-time trustee. They, down, or they gave the city all of that land. Why do they get thrown under the bus and just saying, no, we can't recognize that anymore? You have a principal. Her first name is Neil, who spent 33 years full time. I have to ask, what makes you more special than them? And I think that that's fair. Because you put it out there, and this board said, hey, we're going to do this. And we're going to do it in secret, and we're going to come back and we're going to say that it was unanimous, okay? If I ask someone, did you vote to rename Hartsdale Avenue Public School to Janet McDougall Public School, they should say yes. But when they start hiding under secrecy saying, I can't tell you because it was in camera, I say you're a liar, and I say that there's corruption, there's side agreements, and people were forced into making a unanimous, unanimous vote, so they weren't blacklisted. Sir, you know, I understand that you're, me, you're in just... opposition, 
but for you to make those kinds of allegations. Well, just No, just wait a minute. I'm chairing this meeting. For sure. you to make those kinds of allegations are completely unfounded. I take great offense to you suggesting that any member of this board is a liar. Ditto. So, would you please either sum up your, uh, your delegation and hand in your notes and we will certainly respond to your concerns around conflict of interest. I just, I, I, what it centers around, if we can get to it, is that is, does Peel Board of, Peel Board of Education have a policy regarding conflicts of interest for renaming schools? Okay, and we will answer your question as we do every delegation. Okay. Uh, at the next board meeting. Okay. The, the big picture here is how do we prevent conflicts of interest when we name these schools? Um, I should put on the record there that um, from what I understand, Peel is the only uh, board in Ontario that does the renaming in secret. Um, and for other boards, the process works where um, there's a, a press release XYZ counselor has recommended renaming a school, let's say in this case Janet McDougall. This was favored by XYZ trustees. Community feedback is valued. We will have an open meeting next week to hear your voice. And if the person is scared of the sensitivity, then don't put your name out here. Don't put your name out there. And I would ask how many people in the community agree with that? These people are your close friends, and obviously you have business dealings with them. When you rename a school, I'm wondering which candidates you put forward, and how did you trump all of those other ones? What I say is it's a conflict of interest. Thank you. Is, it, is that the end of your delegation? Lastly, how is it in the best interest of the community, and specifically the students, to rename Hartsdale Avenue Public School, Janet McDougall Public School. Okay, and we will, uh, if you'll hand in those notes that you have, we will respond to your delegation as best we can. Okay. Uh, certainly around the conflict of interest, uh, I, I would, I'd be happy to have staff uh, um, explain that uh, in, a, in a report, and that uh, response will come back to the February 14th board meeting. Okay. Lastly, I'd, I'd just like to know um, why the other why the other boards are not following uh, your secret policy. Well, I, I I can tell you right now that we won't be asking boards why they do that. The only thing that we're concerned about is our process, and you would be concerned whether or not that was within the Education Act, and we will certainly respond to that. What I'm concerned about is, is there a conflict of interest? I want I leadership, know, not lackeys. Sir, I said, I said we would, I said we would respond to that at the next board meeting. Thank you. Thank you.